Hi everyone, I'm Javi and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use a video to motion capture tool called Quick Magic that would allow you to take video and transform that into animation data that we can use with the character device inside UEFN. It's really easy to use so without further ado let me show you how to do it. Okay so here we are in Quick Magic and as you can see this tool allows us to just upload a video and then transform that video into animation data. So it's an AI motion capture tool and the good thing is is that the only thing you need is video from one camera. If you check their web page you can see plenty of different like use cases and examples of this tool being used and also the different software that it supports. So for us to start using Quick Magic, we just need to sign up here by clicking on this button and here you can sign up using either Google or just any email. After you sign up, you will be redirected to this page right here where we will upload a local video. But before proceeding, of course, we're going to first capture that video. For recording the video, you can use your phone. Make sure to place your phone in a place where it's static. I used a tripod to place my phone. When you're setting up your shot, you need to make sure that you have good lighting, that you have a good contrast against the background or against your surroundings. You also need to make sure that there's enough space for you to move around and not be outside of the camera when you do. When recording the video, make sure that before performing any action that you want to record, you need to first stand still in an A pose for a little while and after that start performing the thing that you want to capture in the video. This A pose will help us determine when to start the video and also it will help Quick Magic to achieve a way better result. Quick Magic gives us 50 credits for free for our first video upload, so make sure that the video you capture is not over 50 seconds. Once you have your video, make sure to upload it to your computer. Quick Magic only allows MP4 with an H.264 codec. So if your video is that .mov, for example, which is my case because I recorded on an iPhone, I would need to first convert the video to MP4. In my case, I'm going to use Adobe Express to convert the .mov video to MP4. I will leave the links in the description in case you want to use this tool as well. I already converted my video, so here I have the original one and here I have the MP4 version. This is the one that I'm going to be uploading to Quick Magic. Going back to Quick Magic, now that we have the video ready, we can click here on local video and here we will look for where we have our video. Make sure to pick the MP4 video over here and open. And now the app is going to analyze the video. Now that the video is uploaded, we need to find where the video needs to start and where it needs to end. So in our case, it's going to start where we did the A pose. So here we can drag this to move in this timeline. And we need to find first where we did the little A pose. So once we know where we want to start the video, we can click here to cut uh, and determine the start of the video we can play here and now we see that all of this is the action that I want to capture and then in the end there's going to be a part in which I'm going to stop doing the performance that I'm doing and then here before I start walking towards the camera that's where I want my video to end. So around, let's say here, I'm going to click here to determine the end of the video. So here we choose exactly what we want to upload and transform into motion capture or animation data. Here in output format, we can choose between different types of output. In our case, we're going to be using Unreal 4 you can use Mixamo as well, but I think Unreal 4 for UEFN will work better. So what you need to do is just click and drag this to the character, in this case is me. And after you do that, Quick Magic shows you that it has recognized the character inside the video. Now the only thing we need to do is just click Next. Over here we're going to choose a title, so I'm going to call this Quick magic an M. 
here in function selection we're going to go with full body original pose general and unreal 4 and now let's click on generate now and now here what we need to do is just wait for it to finish processing something very important is that over here you see that we now have 35 coins instead of 50 that means that the video was around 15 seconds the thing is that only the first video that you upload will allow you to select between all of the different types of output if i were to do this again and try and use this 35 coins i won't be able to use neither the Maximo output or the Unreal output. So make sure to capture just like everything you want in this video. It's even better if you capture or try and use all of these coins in that first generation because after that you won't be able to export on the Unreal 4 mannequin or the Maximo mannequin. Here we can see that the estimated time for processing is nine minutes. So see you in nine minutes. Once processing is done, you can double click over here and it will open up a preview of the animation. So here we can see that it worked. It actually moves around the area as I did when I recorded the video. And even the fit placement is actually very good. So after we check that the animation is working correctly, we can close here and over here we can click here on download. And now we're going to look for a folder to download this zip file in. I'm going to go here to this quick magic tutorial folder and save. And if we check what we have downloaded, we can see that there's an FBX file here. So I'm going to extract this FBX file. And now we're going to move to UEFN. Okay, so here I have this UEFN new project. Here I'm going to be creating a folder called Quick Magic. And I'm going to go to this folder and over here I'm going to look for the FBX file that we downloaded and just import it to UEFN. Over here make sure you have no skeleton to have skeletal mesh ticked, import mesh ticked, and here where it says import animations, make sure it's true as well. Now we can click import all. You will probably get this error, but don't worry about it. Just close that window. And over here we can see that we have the skeletal mesh from Quick Magic, but also we have this new animation sequence over here. So now what we need to do in order for us to use this animation with the character device is just to retarget the animation to the character device skeleton. So to do that, we just need to right click here on the animation sequence, go to retarget animations, and over here where it says target skeletal mesh, we're going to be selecting the M medium vase skeleton. Here we're going to select the quick magic and M unreal animation, which is the animation that we imported, and click on export animations. Here I'm going to select the quick magic folder as a prefix, I'm going to add RT, just so I know that this is the retargeted animation, underscore, RT underscore, and press export. Uh, here, let's leave it like that and click export. And now we have a retargeted animation here. Now, if we go here to the Fortnite folder and we'll look for a character device, uh, we can place one character here. Whoa, sorry. Here we can select any character. Let's just go with Battlehound. And now I'm going to create a folder called Cinematics. And inside I'm going to create a new level sequence. So I'm called this LS Quick Magic. Open here. If you haven't worked much with animation and the character device, I have a full tutorial on how to animate the character device using Mixamo animations. You can find the tutorial in my channel or just checking the link in the description below. Now I'm going to drag and drop the character device into the level sequence and here I'm going to add the animation. So if we go to animation, we will find the retargeted animation right here. I'm going to click and now before we press play, I'm going to make sure that the level sequence covers the entire animation just so we can take a look. So let's 
press spacebar to play and we see that the character device is correctly animated with the animation that we exported from Quick Magic. <laughs> and that's it. You just animated your character device using video and Quick Magic. If you like this tool, I have another video on how to use Move One, which is another AI motion capture solution using only video. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, you will probably enjoy the other tutorial as well. If you're interested about cinematics inside UEFN, then you can check out my other tutorials. I have a bunch of different information on how you can get started doing your own cinematics, animation, camera shake, audio, fades, titles, and a bunch of other stuff. So if you're interested about this topic, then definitely go take a look around my channel. And of course, if you like this video, then a like and subscribe will be highly appreciated. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.